A paper boat versus a concrete boat, which one will last longer on water? David and Jack went head-to-head -head in a boat-building challenge. Whoever wins gets $50,000. David first tested different sizes of paper boats. He found that doubling the size doubled the weight it could carry. So to carry a person, he'd need to fold a paper boat the size of a human. Full of confidence, he tested it in water, but they all sank. So he switched to cardboard. He planned a six-meter-long boat, reinforced the bottom and frame with thick cardboard strips, then added four layers of cardboard for the hull. For waterproofing, he coated the inside and outside with wax, then added a layer of white paint. Finally, the cardboard boat was ready. Five young men set sail. At first, everything went smoothly. The boat floated steady and calm. But as they reached the sea's edge, water started seeping in from the bottom. They had to dock on an unknown island, unable to venture further. Meanwhile, Jack used over 2,000 pounds of concrete. He custom-built two wooden molds, poured the concrete into the gap, and waited two days for it to harden. With the help of a truck, he dragged the massive concrete boat into the water, and it floated. Jack even took David aboard, boasting how much sturdier it was than a paper boat. But David wasn't impressed. He doubted it would last long. Sure enough, as they cruised along, a storm rolled in. Heavy rain poured down, flooding the boat. Their hopes sank with it. They had no choice but to give up the challenge. So, if it were you, what material would you choose to build a boat? 